Are your abs lacking or do you need a change to your ab program? I recommend going back to basics with a simple plank. But this time, we need intent for ab growth. Stick around to the end. I'm gonna show you a fun different version of this exercise. But for now, hit the like and subscribe button. Go leave a comment, let me know what you wanna see. What are we working when we're doing a plank? First thing is our rectus abdominis, and that's our six pack in the middle here. The second thing is called the transverse abdominis. It's the stabilizer muscle that acts as our body's corset. Why do we wanna do this movement? Well, this makes you stronger for everyday tasks, whether I'm lifting up groceries or I'm pushing something, a strong core is gonna make sure I don't get injured. Another great reason is sports. The stronger my core is, the better stabilized I am, the more I can dominate whatever I'm doing. The last reason, and for most of you, most important, is the aesthetics. Looking ripped, having that six pack muscle showing. The key to the plank is isolate. We wanna try and make it so your abs are doing the majority of the work and the surrounding muscles are doing less and less. The major ones that play a factor are your shoulders and your lower back. So let's go over how to get rid of your shoulders in a plank so that more of the pressure goes on your abs. The first part is instead of going on the floor, I want you to try going up on a bench. That's gonna reduce some of the pressure of your arms holding you up. The second thing I want you to do is lengthen your body. So once you're set up on your forearms, what I want you to do is take a step back and lengthen. And if I have a long lever, I put more pressure through my abs to hold me up, and a short lever puts more pressure through my shoulders. The second thing we wanna work on isolating away from is the lower back. When I'm holding a plank, it's very easy for my lower back to get into this curved position here. But if we're in this position, the back can help or even take over from the abs and what you're doing. So what I want you to do to get rid of this is not only are we squeezing your abs, but I want you to squeeze your butt and push your hips forward like that. So we want to avoid this position and push forward into that. So this is how it looks. I'm going down onto my forearms. A lot of plank positions start like this. I want you to squeeze your abs and squeeze your butt and curve forward like that. Now this is making all the pressure go on in my abs and off of my lower back. And if I walk that back further, I have less pressure on my shoulders and even more on my abs. So how do we progress in this exercise? How do we make it harder? How do we get better at it? There's a few different ways. One is simply time. Instead of holding this plank for 20 seconds, next time I'm trying to hold it for 30 seconds. Another way to progress is by increasing my lever length. That means walking back with my feet. The longer you walk back, the harder this exercise gets. And walking forward makes this exercise easier. So we can judge based off of how far we are with our feet as to how difficult the exercise is. Now the third option is we can actually add a weight as resistance and we can slowly progress in how much weight we're using. Now the placement of where this goes is very important. Abs are controlling our hips, which means that weight needs to be over the hips or lower back on a plank. We don't wanna put the weight on top of your shoulders like this, because all we're really adding weight to is my shoulders, holding, holding my body up, not my abs. So make sure that goes over your lower back or over your glutes, and that way you can progress in abs. So the key points to consider for a plank. Number one, try to find an elevated surface, something like a bench to take your shoulders out of it. Number two, lengthen your body so that you put more pressure on your abs. Number three, try and squeeze your glutes and move your hips forward to take out your back. If you're a beginner, try 15, 20 seconds at a time. 
You can do this two to three times a week for three, three or four sets. If you're advanced, I recommend you take this right to failure, maybe once or twice a week tops where you are going all out, loading up with weight. I'm gonna show you guys how I do this exercise in real time. I'm gonna use a 45 pound plate for resistance. I'm gonna pop it on my back. It helps if you have someone to help you out here, but if you don't, it's not a big deal. You can easily get the weight on your back just like that. I'm gonna go up into that plank, push my hips forward and hold for 20 to 30 seconds. When you're done, just kick the weight off to the side. As promised, I'm going to show you a fun version of this exercise. It's a little more for the advanced uh, lifter, not so much for beginners, but work your way up to it. This one's going to involve our obliques a little bit more. Remember, they do twisting and bending for us. So what we're going to do is get into the plank position, just like we were doing, push our hips forward. And then what we're going to do is dip our hip down to the side and back up and other side and back up and I like to do this fairly quickly rotating back and forth with my hips and now I'm involving every muscle of my core give it a try leave a comment let me know how you liked it